So the next part we're going to do now is going to be the inner, that little inner part inside of the eye. So let's go ahead and find a brand new group to go ahead and do that so we can keep it separate and such. Let's do it right here, call it red part again. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the color. Grab the color, maybe a little bit darker than that, create a brand new layer. In, see, no, select it, deselect first, fill in the whole layer, create a mask, control I, and then go from there. So now that I have that, I'm going to go right here and create the first basis of that color to create that little panel. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, the brush, I'm going to turn up the hardness to 100%, and then I'm going to increase the size to something a little bit more fitting to that. So that's kind of an eye shot distance of how it looks. Probably click on 100% when I paint so I can do it to its entirety this time, but it should be good now. So now that I have the basic color for that, now I'm going to do some of the shadows. So as you can see, it looks like this has a little bit of an indent that appears to be going into the, the model instead of out. So it's going to have an inner shadow. So I'm going to hit control while clicking on the mask so I can get a selection. Brand new layer. Again, I'm going to go ahead and take white. Good. And then when the white, I'm going to fill it into the layer. See it now turned into multiply. And then I'm going to go into this and I'm going to use a, an inner glow. You can see already has the inner glow. It's set to multiply like the last time. That's nice. They changed that. But in this time, I want to have it actually take some of the color from that. So as you can see, when I just use that on the multiply, it actually did a good job of taking that. And I'll go and spread the size a slightly bit. And then reduce the choke so it's more of a subtle gradient, like you can see now. You have that shadow going in and around that kind of makes it look like it's kind of has some sort of a surface. Or indented surface, that is. So what is going to be the next step when it comes to that? I also want to fake a certain degree of subtle bit of lighting when it comes to this, like it's the visor and it takes a slight bit of lighting to it. So how do I do that? Again, to the use of color, brand new layer, back deselect, grab the color you want, take a slight lighter value of it, paint bucket it, control I, and then I will go onto my other mask. Visor. Red. Call this the spec. And then this one, I'm going to have this selected. I'll take a brush, one that has, and go ahead and take the hardness, take that down. And then in my opacity, I'm going to go start very subtle. So I'm going to go to start with 20% and then build it up from there. And I will go and hit click once, as you can see. This would be easier if I have my Wacom, take the size, reduce it by about half. And then take the size and reduce that for about a half again, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. And then when you zoom out, now you can see it's a slight bit of shadow to it. So when it comes to the, the if you want to get a little bit more shadow on the other side, a little bit of a drop shadow, let's go ahead and create a brand new layer. And then in that brand new layer again, we're going to go, go to white, click, call this inner drop shadow, and I'm going to fill that in. Again, it needs to be multiply get the effect right and then I'm going to go with the effects and I am going to go inner shadow so why am I going to go inner shadow because inner shadow is going to give me the ability to go in a direction with the shadow that I want to so you can see right now when I move this see that how it's that slight so I want this to kind of reflect the red a tiny bit so I'm going to grab some of that red lower it down the value so it can be more subtle and then take the distance and raise it a little bit and adjust the final one. 
And this right here, you want to click off, use global light, because it means if you're going to do other effects like this in other areas, it's going to use the same direction for all of them. So click on that so it's independent of its own. And then you take that light and... Nah, it doesn't quite work. If I do it like this, it make it look like it's raised. So let's go ahead and take it this way, opposite direction, change the direction of the shadow. And then as you can see now, maybe a bit smaller in size. Go ahead and zoom, let's go ahead and deselect. Zoom out and you can see you have a little bit closer to what that little visor looks. So the next part we're gonna do now is we're gonna fake some of those highlights that's in the this part to give it that look of having sort of more, again, drop shadow to it or more of actual 3D space. So how are we gonna do that? We are going to create a layer right there and put it under everything else. Call this highlight. And then you're gonna to go to the mask on the visor red right here, click it. And then you're gonna do select inverse so you paint on the outside of this, and then you, f you go ahead with your eye drop and find the blue that's pretty close to the other one, but bring it, its value closer to the white. That. And then I'm going to get a brush. Make the hardness 100%, and then I start to scale it up where it starts to get a little bit closer to how it is with that side. Something like this. So if you can see what I did there, highlight kind of gives it that nice appearance of some indentation, or at least that the light is hitting that area. So I'm going to undo the reselect, and I'm going to put it a little bit more focused towards the center. So I'm going to reduce the size of this a bit more. select so as you can see now the panel is getting a little bit closer to how it is there what else could we make this do to make this a little bit closer to what it is seems to have it's a subtle gradient coming from one side to the other but maybe that's not what I want to do so maybe I want to do the opposite with this on the other side the highlight but darker on the other side to give that appearance of that same kind of shading you have so again create a brand new layer called dark. As you can see, a ton of layers are required to do this, but in the end, the result looks really nice. Control, get your selection from your mask. And then on this occasion, you're just going to go ahead and pick a darker value of this blue, bring it a little bit closer to this, darkest of all of them, and then you take that same brush, scale it up in size, too big, too big, too big. Too big again. to inverse that, if that's going to work. Duh. So then there you go. And then when you look at that and you zoom out a little bit, it kind of gives you that appearance that is some sort of 3D to it. You could do more, of course, with the, let's see, what else could we do more to increase? Okay, so now we have it as it is and it's flat. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now we're going to go ahead and make a double duplicate of that to make it look like it's it's instead of sinking into the into the shape is actually extruding. But we're going to go ahead and do that in the next video to keep these short and easy to download. So I'm going to call that finished and I'll see you in the next one.